I'm not really too bothered about having a lot of money. It's more about living the life I want to lead with the people I want to be around in a place which I want to live and challenging myself. You can't take stuff with you, so you might as well just enjoy what you've got while you're here. I very much enjoy the simple life. This year I've decided to go in the water every day, whether it be the lake or the sea or a river. So as soon as you get in that water, all your mind kind of goes quiet and it puts things into perspective. I love working on the mountain in an environment which is incredibly beautiful and inspirational with people who are very similar to me, who are there for the same reason. Love what they do, love where they do it. Whenever you need help, there's always someone to help you out and go above and beyond, and it just feels like a family. Don't necessarily work to live, we live to work. We are the guardian of that mountain, and we get to look after it now for the next generation, for them and for their children and their children's children in the future. I'm very much a morning person. That's when I thrive most and I've got most energy. So I love being up there and having the place to myself, just enjoying mother nature and everything it has to offer and the incredible beauty. Skiing feels rad. <laughs> it's just incredible. For me, it's very important to um, have a laugh and enjoy enjoy what I do and enjoy the people I do that with and make the most out of life. Do the things I love doing. I guess I have thought about potentially getting a real job again and going back into an office to save money for a house. But then there's that feeling, that horrible gut feeling that I don't want to leave. And it makes me incredibly sad to leave Queenstown and leave Coronet Peak. I feel like I'm drawn there and I don't want to go. I'm content, <laughs> I am content, but I feel like I'm content because there's still places to go.